So today I'm going to be showing you my warm up routine. So I'm going to be showing you how I warm up for gymnastics. But some of these stretches can be a bit more advanced and if you're a beginner and you find these difficult then I will try to simplify them for you and if you actually want a full like warm up routine but only for beginners make sure to leave a comment down below. So please be careful if there are some uh, stretches that you cannot do, don't do it because I don't want you to hurt, I just want to help you uh, with your warm up routine and yeah and as well if you have any suggestions just make sure to comment it down below as well and yeah without further ado uh, let's just get on with the video for the first few exercises we're going to start off with waves and this is the first wave so there are different types of waves but we're gonna start with this one so put your hands together at the back keeping your legs together you can open your feet at the bottom for more balance and now you're going to go down with your legs straight and then you're going to come back up pushing your shoulders back as much as you can. For a good wave, pretend that there is a line and that you're trying to go underneath that line so that you cannot touch that line. For this next wave, open your feet apart and keep your hands to the side. You're going to bend your knees and you're going to arch your back and in the end you're going to close your hands like you're hugging yourself. For this wave, put your hands up and start on your tiptoes. You're going to bend down and you're going to bend your knees. Then you're going to expand backwards and then you're going to finish on your tiptoes. Now you're going to do the other way and you're going to start backwards and then go forward. Make sure to keep your legs straight when you go backwards. For the last wave, start in this position, bend your knees and go down with your shoulders. You're going to rotate your hands back and then finish with your hands up. Then you're going to do a wave backwards. You can bend your knees over here. Make sure to keep your heel down. And keep your front leg turned out. Now on to stretching our shoulders. You're going to start off in this position. You're going to cross one hand to the right side and then one hand to the left side. You're going to bring your hands together, push up and then push down. And push your shoulders back as much as you can. Don't forget to keep a flat and straight back. For this next exercise, put your hands up and behind your head. You're going to go up and down on your tiptoes for 8 times. Again, make sure to keep a flat back. After you go up and down on your tiptoes for 8 times, hold for 8 counts on your tiptoes. In the same position, keeping your hands together, you're going to push up and push down. This next exercise is really good for stretching your shoulders. You're going to cross your arms and you're going to put your head through your arms. Try pushing your head back for a better stretch.
For this exercise, put your hands together at the back and you're going to push back. You're going to push your hands to one side, then in the middle, then to your other leg, then in the middle again. You're going to repeat this for eight times. For the final exercise for stretching your shoulders, you're going to open your legs apart and you're going to keep your hands together. You're going to bend down and push your hands down as much as you can. Moving on to stretching your toes, you're going to flex your toes underneath you. You're going to put your hands behind and keep a flat straight back. And you're going to push your toes forward. Make sure to keep your heels and your knees together when you do this exercise. If you can't flex your toes under, then just go on your tiptoes and push your heels forward as I'm showing you here. For a deeper stretch, go down on your elbows and push your heels forward and hold this for 20 counts. For this next exercise, sit down, keeping a straight back, put your hands up and point your toes, keeping your knees straight. As you see here, my heels come off the ground. That is because I'm keeping my knees really straight. Make sure not to slouch down like this, but keep a flat and straight back. Now you're going to do the same thing, but keeping your toes flexed. For this next exercise, you're really going to focus on your toes. So you're going to start off by flexing your toes, you're going to curl your toes, you're going to point and then let go and flex again. You're going to do the same thing but one by one. You're going to start off by pointing one toe and then flexing the other. One is going to curl, you're going to let go, then you're going to point with the other and flex with the other. Just follow along and keep trying. Now, to warm up your ankles, you're going to start off by pointing your toes, you're going to open your legs into first position, then flex, and then point your toes again. Repeat this exercise for 8 times. Now, do the same thing, but the other way. Start off by flexing your toes, then open into first position and then point your toes. Now, let's stretch our legs. So, using your opposite hand, you're going to put it under your leg and then grab your toes. And now we're going to do these extensions for 8 times. Now, with your other hand, you're going to grab your heel and stretch it towards your nose and hold that for 8 counts. And now bring your leg down and hold that for 8 counts. Now we're going to do kicks. You can do the normal kicks like this, or you can do a kick and then come up, and then a kick with your left leg and come up. This way you will be strengthening your core and also stretching your legs. Do this for 10 times.
then catch your leg and hold that for 20 counts and then of course change your leg and hold that for 20 counts as well now you're going to do kicks but sideways so you're going to lie down and kick you can do 20 like this and then do 20 on your left or you can turn around and do 20 like that make sure when you turn around to keep your legs together then catch your leg and hold that for another 20 pounds Start off by catching your heel and pushing that behind your shoulder. Once that becomes too easy, you can just catch it with your other hand like I'm doing here. So next we're going to be doing lunges. Make sure to keep your leg at the back straight. You're going to arch back and you're going to hold this for 8 counts. Don't forget to point your toes at the back. If flexing your toes is too difficult, then just hold the same stretch but on your tiptoes. Now catch your leg behind you and just stretch and hold that for another 8 counts. Now extend your front leg and bend your back leg. You're going to hold that stretch for 8 counts. Make sure that you keep your front leg straight. Then slide down into splits and hold that for another 8 counts. Once you're down on your splits, you're going to put your hands behind your head and you're going to lean forward. This is going to work your core muscles. You're going to point your toes and hold that for 8 counts. Then flex your toes and hold that for 8 counts. Now put your hands down and lift your heel up to stretch your leg even more. Just a quick reminder, make sure to point your toes outwards and not inwards when keeping your shoulders and your hips square, not sideways. Also make sure that your back foot is not leaning down but is pointing up, so your heel must be pointing up. Then of course, don't forget to stretch on your other leg too. It is very important to stretch both of your legs. close-up of how your heel should go up. Make sure to pull your toes upward. This next stretch will help to open up your hips. So you're going to go into butterfly, keeping your feet together and push down your knees down as much as you can. I then like to go down and stretch like this for 20 counts. Sometimes I will do waves while sitting in a butterfly position. So just stretch your hands up, go down and then come back up and do this for 8 times. Another exercise that can help open up your hips is frog. So you're going to sit in frog position and you're going to open your legs to the side. Make sure to keep one straight line. Don't go too forward or too back and stay on your elbows. If you find this too easy, then bring your hands up and behind your back and hold that for 10 counts. Next, go into your middle split. Make sure to keep your legs in one straight line. Hold this for 20 or 10 seconds. Again, make sure that you're not sitting too back or too forward. 
you have your middle split, then lie down, keep one hand down and one hand up. Move it up and down like this to stretch your shoulders even more. Do that for 10 times. Then hold your hand behind like this. You can catch your leg and hold that for 10 seconds. And then do your other hand, of course. Now, let's stretch our back. So standing on your hands and knees, arch up and hold for two counts, and then arch the other way and hold for two counts. Really push your back up and then down. Repeat this exercise for 16 times. Now we're going to do circles. I like to do 5 to the right side and then 5 to the left. Really arch your back when you do this exercise. For this next exercise, start in child's pose. So stretch out into seal. Push your shoulders back as much as possible. A tip is to keep your hands close to your body as possible for a better stretch. Now reverse and go back into child's pose. You can do this stretch with closed feet or to make it easier, you can open your feet apart. Now starting again in child's pose, you're going to stretch out and this time you're going to bend your knees. Again, keep your hands as close as possible and if you want you can open your knees apart or keep them together. For this exercise, stand on your knees, put your hands up and bend back down like you are doing a crab. Grab your ankles and then stretch for 8 counts. Now bend down again, but this time on your elbows, and hold that for 8 counts as well. This next exercise is to strengthen your core, so stand on your knees and put your hands behind your head, and hold that for 10 counts. It's very important to keep a flat and straight back for this exercise. Now let's get into crabs. The aim of this is to get as close to your feet as possible. Hold this for 10 counts. If possible, grab your feet and stretch from there. Then I like to go down on my elbows and stretch from there. I'm going to put my feet together and I'm going to push my um, bum down to my head and do that for 10 times. Then I will straighten my feet and stretch like this. I'll stick my head out so that then I can just stretch my shoulders better. And then stretch your back the other way like this. I like to do this exercise which I call monkey and then I like to hold this for 8 seconds. Then put my legs to one side and hold that for 8 seconds and then move my legs to the other side and hold that for 8 seconds so that I can relax my back. Finally, my stretching routine is coming to an end and I like to stretch out with my over split. So I'll do 50 counts on my right leg and then 50 counts on my left leg. And then I'll do reverse split. So I'll do it the other way around. So keep my right leg in front and put my left leg up. And I'll put my hands up, maybe uh, catch my leg and stretch from there. And I'll hold that for 50 counts. And then I'll do my left leg as well. was my warm-up routine i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time Bye.
so this is my video on how I get it's not, it's not that video. Okay, take 10, let's hope this works. <laughs> 